The road that led to the 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo began here on the shores of White Bear Lake, where Laura Delman Weiss began sailing at age six. I just learned to love sailing. She's the first sailor from the White Bear Yacht Club to land where many have dreamed, returning here to the club on a balmy night where she spent years as a student. It's so special. Bringing with her tales of her Olympic journey, words of encouragement for a group of young sailors. Stay positive and whatever you, whatever you dream, don't shut it down. Um, I'm 32 and so I've been tra chasing this dream for a long time and um, after going to Tokyo now, you know, I see what's possible and I think there's so much extra noise and negativity and so just staying positive and patient with yourself is really important. Senior Samantha Forgosh began sailing at five. <laughs> Interested to hear from the Olympian, finding many similarities in her own experience. I mean, it, it's so cool. It, it, it means we have a chance, like all of us have a chance of doing that one day. Um, and it's really cool knowing that like she went through the same school I did and that she sailed similar boats to me. Um, I just, I find it so cool and she seems like a really great person too, which is even better. Qualifying for the 2020 Olympics, postponed until 2021 because of the pandemic, took lots of work and lots of money. On top of a grueling training schedule, there was the task of fundraising. Um, did you like get paid to go to the Olympics or anything? Is this like a oh, job for you? I wish. No. Fortunately, the Yacht Club community gave more than just emotional support, but financial as well. White Bear and the community here and the Yacht Club, the sailing school, everyone really came together the last few months of our campaign. and helped us out financially. We had a goal of raising $70,000. Um, Jay Rendell really led that and took a lot of the weight off my shoulders so that I could be training and I could be on the water and focused on that. Um, and then everyone writing me emails and calling and texting and saying, I'm watching you and good luck. That just, it means so much. Though Delman Weiss and her teammate competing in the women's 470 didn't return from Tokyo with the medal. She's left with a once-in-a-lifetime experience, grateful for those who helped get her there, and eager to give back. <laughs> Reminding the next generation of sailors that loving the sport is already a win. To be out on the water and just be completely present is the most incredible feeling. <laughs>